Hi everybody, welcome to another episode where we are working on our Blackstone Fortress project. Again, super excited. Today, we're going to be working on some bases for our Chaos Trader Guard. So, for this particular base, we're going to be recreating the base from the Impaler. That's the destroyer or frigate or whatever. We're going to be working on this just a fourth at a time. Saves us time and energy. So we cut up a, gr a basic grid, we extrude it up, and we just start shaping it. I'm not really worrying too much about what is called topology. I'm just trying to get the basic shape. So I'm working in several different parts, several different pieces. Uh, and we're gonna go in and just bully in this out later. And the idea is, is just, just block out the shapes. Don't worry about turning this into a round base or anything right or anything like that just make the shape I'm doing this for a couple reasons one obviously to make the base two at some point I'm going to be building these tiles as well and it's handy to have one of these ready to go so we've got our model pretty much worked out and as you can see we can use a boolean modifier to essentially block out a bunch of shapes. Now this is about 23 millimeters, which is the top of the base. And what this does is it allows us to move the cylinder around and actually grab different parts of that deck, create a little variation. Now, for my purposes, I'm just doing two right now. I think that's gonna work. So I'm gonna take this over to Chitu Box, make a bunch of copies, print them out, and then we're gonna prep them and sand them. So as you can see, the base lines up perfectly. And I've got it to the point where you know it, it works well, but it does need some sanding. These edges are kind of rough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a sanding block and use the less rough side of that sanding block because there's there's two sides of two sets of roughness here. I'm gonna sand down the edge of the base as well as the bottom of this base topper. Now the actual base itself, I am gonna sand that down too because otherwise there's a very large gap in between them and I don't want that. It is really important to put a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of glue on your actual base and then line them up as perfectly as you can because I've noticed when you have two really flat surfaces that you, you stick together with super glue, it's gonna dry incredibly fast. It just it just adheres almost instantly. So you really have to get that perfect. Otherwise your base topper isn't gonna really align with your base and, and nobody wants that. After it's all glued in place, I take a little bit of water and a tiny little brush and I put some water into the recesses. This is kind of like doing a wash without actually any pigment. This sets it up to add a little bit of texture into those recesses in the form of gray. Now what I'm using is tile ground and I just, you know, once it's wet I just drop it right in there and it, it goes on very cakey but I let it dry for a while. Once it's mostly dry I'll brush off the excess and put a little bit more water around the top so that tile ground dries rock hard. At scale, it looks great. It looks like real sand. And that's what we're going for here. After it's completely dry, I will go through and brush off some of the excess tile ground, make sure it's nice and smooth, preparatory towards painting. After that, I'll do a little cut in between the, uh, I guess you'd call it the little slotted piece for the Blackstone Fortress legs. And I do that because it, if you try and cut too much from either side at once, you'll actually create some torsion on the legs and sometimes bend the model. So I make a clip in the center, clip the edges, and shave off the excess. And then I glue it to the base. So once we've got it glued on and we've primed it black, you really can't tell that it's a 3D print and it goes really well with the model. So I feel like this was a success. I'm gonna be putting this and other 
Blackstone Fortress bases up on Thingiverse. Links down below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really want to see videos like this more often, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to get all the notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Your viewership means the world to me. It helps keep me going and helps me really want to share what I'm doing and, and share my creations with you. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.